Hey everybody, Ashton here again with Gin Sense with another fragrance review. You can see what we're taking a look at today. It is Gucci Guilty Absolute. We'll go ahead and check out the presentation like normal and then jump into the fragrance itself, so stick with me. One more quick thing before we jump into the review. I've opened a new channel called Frightmares that deals with horror movies, TV shows, games, stuff like that. It's linked in the description below. If you're into stuff like that, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe on those videos. I'm just basically trying to get that off the ground. This is still going to be my main channel. Uh, that's just something else that I enjoy. So I figured I'd open up a second one. And honestly, from here on, it's probably going to be this channel and that one that I really update. All right, let's check out the presentation for Gucci Guilty Absolute. So as you can see, the box is just a plain cardboard box, basically. It says Gucci Guilty at the top, Absolute Pour Homme at the bottom, and the size and concentration is down there as well. There's nothing on the sides or the top of the box. On the back is the ingredient information down here. And then the batch code is imprinted into the box here. So the bottle is the same design as the other bottles in the Guilty line. The only difference is this one is see-through, so you can see the nice dark juice inside. It's the same on the front and the back, it says Gucci Guilty Absolute. Cap is the same as the others in the Guilty line. The atomizer works well. And then you have your sticker on the bottom with batch code info. That's the presentation for Gucci Guilty Absolute. It's minimal, but it looks nice. This fragrance isn't being made to go after the people that are going to buy the other fragrances in the Gucci Guilty line, or Sauvage, or Versace Dylan Blue, or anything like that. This is more for people that are looking for something unique and masculine in the designer realm. So this fragrance has a really small note tree. There are only a few notes in this fragrance, and according to what I've read, this is supposed to be linear pretty much the entire way through. So you should get pretty much the same vibe or the same feeling in the dry down as you do in the opening, just toned down. This gives you a petrol kind of gasoline note right off the top. It hits you right in the face as soon as you spray it on. It doesn't smell exactly like OG Fahrenheit, but it's in the same ballpark, it's in the same vein. So if you don't really like that kind of note, if you don't really like that masculine gas kind of smell, then that may be a disqualifier for you. And if that's the case, you definitely, definitely need to sample this first because it's really potent off the top. About 10 minutes in, that gasoline note starts to soften up a little bit. It's still there, it's just not as in your face. And what you're left with is a leathery vetiver and that carries on pretty much for the entirety of the fragrance. I really like it um, and it truly is basically just a leathery vetiver is the best way to put it. There is a tiny bit of what seems like sweetness that creeps in and it kind of fades in and fades out. And to my nose, that's the cypress. And you pick it up in the background and it definitely is in the background. And like I said, it's not something that's always there. You just catch wafts of it. So what you're left with mainly is a very, very high quality smelling leather and vetiver fragrance. Now I checked on the hour every hour for this fragrance to see if that gas note was still there and it's still perceivable, it's just as time goes it fades more into the background so as the hours tick by that petrol gasoline feel it goes further into the background and that leathery vetiver is the main body of the fragrance, it stays there for the entirety. So there's not really much of an evolution of the scent, at least on my skin. The smell of Gucci Guilty Absolute is deep it's rich, it smells of very high quality. There's a marked difference between Gucci Guilty Absolute and the original Gucci Guilty. Now I know Gucci Guilty gets hated on a lot in the community because it's basically just a mass marketed fragrance that's made for compliments. Uh, but if you put them side by side, there is a definite difference in how they're going to be perceived quality wise. Absolute is definitely a few steps up from the other Guilties uh, in this line. For me, the longevity was around seven hours, and two hours in, it was projecting right at about two inches off my skin. So it's not a beast in terms of being a performer. It doesn't last and last and last, and it doesn't project and fill a room, but it is competent. It's at worst an average performer in terms of longevity and projection. 
Age-wise, this smells like it would be better suited for somebody 25 years and older, and it leans more formal than it does casual. Now, you can wear it casually, and you can wear it if you're younger, but that's not really the vibe that this puts off. It kind of gives that rich, sophisticated, um, more gentlemanly vibe than it does a younger person who's in high school or college, for example. And with the richness of this fragrance, it really seems better suited for fall and winter than it would spring and summer. It doesn't really come off like a fragrance that you'd really want to wear during the day in the hot weather. I've said it before, but I'll say it one more time. If you're not really into fragrances that are very masculine, that are dominated by notes like vetiver and leather, especially with the petrol note that this one opens with, that again gives you kind of the feel of old school Fahrenheit, then you should sample this first, just to be safe. Because at this point, the only way you're getting this is at full retail. So that makes it a risky blind buy unless you're really into those types of fragrances, those types of notes. All right, guys, that's my review for Gucci Guilty Absolute. Personally, I really, really enjoy it. I think it's a great fragrance. Uh, longevity and sillage, again, for me are average, but that does not bother me one bit. I really, really like this, so I'm going to give this a big thumbs up. If you've smelled this, let me know what you think about it. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.